This is your captain speaking. In the event of an emergency, oxygen masks will drop from the ceiling. Please make sure to put your own mask on before helping those around you. We've all been on airplanes. We know what the captain says or the flight attendant. The flight I always feel like the flight attendant saying it, but it's really the captain saying it and the flight attendant's just acting it out. In my mind, the flight attendant was saying it. We had to Google it to make sure, to make that thing relevant to you. But today we're not talking about flight safety best practices. We're the cold email hub. We talk typically about email and sales and marketing. So when we say put on your own oxygen mask first before helping others, what I mean is get your financial life in line before giving away a ton of your money to help other people. I was blessed enough to have enough income coming in recently that I was able to pay for the housing of first one and then two of my brothers. I was paying their rent for a while. And it really filled me with such joy to do that. And the reason why I can do that is because I put on my own oxygen mask first. A lot of people, when they make a little bit of money, they tend to either spend it, which is not what I want to talk about too much right now, or they think they're being charitable. So they make, let's say, $100 and then they give it away to a friend or they make $50 and then, yeah, they give it to charity even. And it's just the wrong way to think about it. And, and I'll give you an alternate scenario so that you can think about this a different way. Imagine I paid my brother's rents, but I actually needed the money the whole time. Now I'm putting pressure on them, maybe to pay me back, maybe for you know some other favors. Like now I'm giving with expectation instead of giving without expectation because I actually needed the money that I was giving away. And so by not putting your own oxygen mask on first, you're actually stressing the recipient out because the entire goal with help, the entire goal with mastering your personal finance is to be able to help people with no strings attached. If you want to buy your mom a car, you should be able to buy your mom a car without worrying that the card is going to get declined in six months and then she's going to get the car repoed. If you want to, same with buying your mom a house or buying your kid a house to live in, you want to make sure that you could make the payments on that every single month. Otherwise, the gift will backfire and you'll get that joy and that elation of buying your mom a house only to have to have that devastation of seeing the house get repoed by the bank because you can't make the payments. Same with the car, same with the rent, same with everything. So put on your own oxygen mask first. Don't put yourself in dire financial straits to look cool because deep down, that's what it really is. Your ego is what drives you to give before you're ready. So I know your friend might be struggling and then you want to give them like $10,000. But part of that is, is ego. Like, why do you feel like you're the one who wants to give them the $10,000? Why can't somebody else in your life give them the $10,000? Now for me, if I had let's say $100,000 comfortably and somebody wanted $10,000 or needed it really like for a surgery or something. Yeah, bro, here. You know, you need rent, you're gonna be homeless. Yeah, come live uh, come live in our spot you know, for a while. As long as you're not an actual homeless person and start going crazy on the streets, then we're gonna have to kick you out where, you're, where you were meant to be. You know, go live on the streets where you're meant to be if you can't be civilized in our home. <laughs> but yeah, you can stay here for a bit. And all of that comes down to putting on your own oxygen mask first. Make enough money so that you don't think about money. That's the ideal spot. I know when I was broke or even when I had a job, uh, I would always worry about money. Like, oh no, how can I afford this thing? I don't have the cash for this. Or I would spend 50 bucks and then be like, oh, how am I gonna afford food? Now I'm gonna have to cut back for the rest of the week just to make up that $50. And you want to escape that mindset as soon as possible. Well, there's two things. The fastest way to do that is one, lowering your expenses so you don't have to think about money. So for instance, if you make even as low as like, let's say $1,500 a month, I know there's an international audience here. If you make $1,500 a month, then you only spend $500 a month or even $1,000 a month in order to get by. That gives you extreme levels of comfort. In an ideal world, I would spend less than 10% of my take home pay every single month on monthly expenses. But at minimum, I would go for about 50%. So if you make 3,000, spend 1,500. If you make 10,000, 
Well, then I would still actually only spend like 1500 or maybe 3000, maybe 5000 if you're really pushing it. But then what do you have? You've got calmness and you have no anxiety. So you can make decisions that help other people. You have done number two, you've put your oxygen mask on first. And that allows you to do fun things. You want to pay your mom's mortgage with the extra money? Go for it. You want to buy a car for your wife, you know, a nicer car than you'd normally be able to afford? There you go. You got the extra money for that. You want to send your kids to a nicer school? Great. But your oxygen mask is on first so that adding new expenses does not add new stresses. Because that's the worst, bro. Because now, let's say I did actually need the money and even my brother didn't find out that I needed the money. I secretly will start hating him because now I'm like, oh, who's this kid? Why is, why is he taking all my money every month when it was really me who made the decision to do it? And it's not like you make that decision thinking you're gonna hate the person you're gifting money to, but you will start hating them if you need the money. And that's why you wanna put your own oxygen mask on first. What was your biggest takeaway from this video? Let me know down in the comments below and then smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Berman.